this is where I was um <laughs> the magic of white pages and this is my intro for my new book tube and I am completely unpracticed at this and completely new to this this is new so all right this is my intro so I'm just going to get straight to the questions so I don't waste time and memory on my iPad which by the way is why the video is so crappy all right so the first question is why did you start this channel and the reason I actually started is I will have to give that um, dedication to Naya from Naya Reads and Smiles. I absolutely loved her book too and it just made me get really, really, really excited and want to do one myself. So I'm really extremely excited about this. And nervous. Very nervous. I'm normally a lot cooler than this. That's a lie. I am not cool in any ways. Hence why I'm sitting here talking to a camera. Alright. What are some fun and unique things that you will bring to booktube? Okay, so I love how there's so many different booktubers out there who have their different little things that are just for them. And it just makes me so funny, like Woody Novels, she did jokes in the ukulele, ukulele and I absolutely love that. And then um, uh, Maria's Muse is... Maria Muses is absolutely adorable how she does like at the end of her she does a random fact and I love those things but I wanted to have something that was uniquely me. So the thing that I have decided that I'm going to do is I am going to actually be reading a Mad Lib at the end of my at the end of each video. So if I can actually keep a straight face when I'm reading them I think it would be fun not only to do the read the Mad Lib it's meh. I think it would be fun not just to read the Mad Libs, but also at the end of each video, I will name off how many words I need and have people give me random words in the comments at the end of, at the, end of the video so that the next week when I get the video up, I can read them what, they, what kind of story they made so that it's more interactive and less just me reading off a random Mad Lib. What are you most excited about for your new channel? at this point I'm just excited to finally get it up I've run into a lot of bumps when it comes to starting this I have been trying to start this for over two months now and every time I turn around I have something coming up all right why do you love reading why do I love reading the only way I can really tell you that could possibly make sense is I watch kids and I am always telling the five-year-old that I watch is that one of the most amazing thing about reading is the closest you can get to magic in real life because as soon as you start reading without pictures it's the words become the pictures it becomes more than just pictures it becomes sound and smells and expressions and everything just goes into your mind and it just it boggles my imagination that our brain is even capable of being able to translate these things into thoughts that you can really process it's just outstanding all right, what books or series got you into reading? I'm actually going to have to say it was a mixture of a person plus a book, to be honest. This is my friend Anna, and she used to live in Guam, and I had gone to visit her while she was there. And when I was there, we did a Pride and Prejudice marathon. We marathoned anything Pride and Prejudice that we possibly could, and I had never even really, yes. I never heard of Pride and Prejudice or really cared for it until she got me to want to. So we started off with like the Kira Knightley one and then we watched the um, BBC miniseries and then after that we watched a Bollywood version of Pride and Prejudice. And it was just like, I'm obsessed. So as soon as I got home, the first thing that I did when I got home was I went to Barnes and Noble and I purchased my first copy of Pride and Prejudice, Barnes and Noble, leather edition. They don't make it exactly like this anymore because now they change the cover to where it's a soft leather cover and I don't like that as much. But, oh, I just realized it's going to make the words backwards. That is so sad. All right, came home, read it, loved it. After that, boom, books, books everywhere. And I've been just kind of crazy ever since. I mean, I have my moments. I have my times when, you know, not as in a book mood as I was before, but I have my slumps, just like everybody else. 
Sometimes they can last a month, sometimes they last a couple days. Other than that, I'm usually pretty good. But, yes, this. What question would you ask your favorite booktuber? I actually would like to just let, um, tell Naya from Naya's Green Smile thank you so much because of the inspiration that you really gave me to want to start this channel. I'm so loving it. I mean, I only just started, but, you know, you know what I mean. So, just like, it's exciting. What challenges do you think start, uh, what challenges do you think that starting a booktube will be the most challenging? <laughs> All right. I don't own a computer. I don't have a laptop. I have a iPhone 4, which is pretty old in the iPhone carrot category. Shouldn't be, but it is. So, I have found out. It is nearly impossible if you do not have access to a computer to do this. I have an absolutely lovely camera. I mean, it is a Nikon Coolpick camera, but it's actually got pretty good video quality. And it's beautiful. And just so you know, this is not my first time recording these videos. I just can't get them on my iPad because I don't have a computer. So that being said, I have videos already recorded that will be useless. How about that? So... Here's the problem. I had to choose between having my lovely recordings that are my beautiful camera, which I can't get on the computer anyway, so it's worthless, or recording it on my lovely brand new iPad. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for Christmas. This was my Christmas present was my iPad. But now I can actually get this going because it's as close as I can get to a laptop. All right. When did you start reading? I did not learn to read until I was nine, but if we're talking about actually reading, reading like to just because I love it, I didn't start until I was 18 or 19 when I went to see my friend in Guam. So since we're on that anyways, I am 23 right now. Sadly, I don't have a lot of extreme reading under my belt until just recently. Shame, shame. I know. I'm sorry. And I didn't didn't read Harry Potter until I was 21, which was two years ago. But I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Where do I read? 90% of the time, my bed. Sometimes at work when the little kids are taking a nap. But most of my time, my bed. It's my comfy place, my cozy place, my quiet place, my sanctuary. But what kind of books do you like? All right, I love this question. Love it, love it. All right, so my favorite kind of books is actually fantasy, sci-fi, and pretty much fiction in general. I do not read anything that is strictly romance. I don't really generally go into anything that's really new adult. I do like some contemporary. I've actually been getting more into contemporary as of recently, but I'm very picky about my contemporaries. Like I just recently, I can't tell you that yet so yeah anyways I will eventually be giving some more facts up here about me but I really hope you guys enjoyed this I do have quite a few things coming up I have book hauls shelf tours TBRs wrap-ups probably some tags that I will not be tagged in but I will probably be doing some of my favorite tags um <clears throat> but I really hope you guys enjoy this and if you do have an interest in finding out more about crazy old me, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, like it. You don't like it, try not to push the dislike button because that makes me sad. But since we're at the end of the video, I'm going to read you my very first Mad Lib. Obviously, I can't have it where it's ones from everybody else because of the fact that <laughs> this is the beginning. First Mad Lib. This Mad Lib is called Bird Watching. I wasn't very happy when one of my ignorant friends invited me to go YouTube watching. It seemed dumb to hide and this means bouncing balls, balls for hours in hope of seeing a blue gray gnat catching sliding through the air. Boy was I wrong the first time I saw a bald truck spread its wings and soar lovely across the toy store. I was helmet. Helmet struck. Today I will talk 
You're... what? What? Oh! Today I will talk your big toe off about my new hobby. Believe me, there's no music that equals the green back spotted herring giving its mating call. Whoop whoop! There is no sight more beautiful than a peacock spreading its grace land on a hoodie. When it gracefully lands on a hoodie. And eats out of your tablet. Tablet. Uh huh. You can even bird watch at home. A parrot which mimics human songs that says such things as Polly wants a pizza. It is a great companion. I grudgingly believe that in a few years, bird watching will be America's. Will be. Oh, bird watching will be as America has bullets pie. That's confusing. <laughs> Anyways, there is some humor, humor stuff, but I'm trying not to laugh. I've got to try and keep a straight face when I read these so you can actually hear what the words are. And I need to stop looking at myself in the camera. I need to look there. Because if I look here, I'm looking at myself. Which, no. Yeah. Alright. Anyways. Um, so, I guess I should tell you guys what the next thing. Alright, the way I'm doing it is, the first person to comment gets the first word, this next person to comment, you know, just kind of so on and so forth. First person comment, you put a, whatever this word is, like, adjective, noun, verb, adjective, noun, and I will kind of list off at the end, I will put it in the info box thingy mabobber I will put the list of what words I'm going to be needing please do not put anything vulgar no cuss words and if it says a body part please be creative and not say something rather eh. there's so many different options our body has so many different parts hair ears tooth gums you know you la la Okay, that was stupid. Anyways, so the words that I need, I need an ad, I need number one, adjective, two, noun, three, verb, four, adjective, five, noun, number six, a body part, number seven, adjective, number eight, type of container, number nine, plural noun, number ten, a verb, number eleven, a noun, a number twelve, plural noun, Number 13, verb ending in ing. Number 14, plural noun. Number 15, adjective. Number 16, adverb. Number 17, adjective. If I do not get 17 comments for one for each one of those words, then I will fill in the blanks myself for what is missing. If something is vulgar, I can actually use it, then I will again have to put in my own little mix on things. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I was trying to keep it pretty short, but I still made it to 17, 14 minutes, and I will try and get this down a little bit further. Anyways, uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you for viewing it. I hope I did not bore the mess out of you. Goodbye. Yeah,